Okay, welcome back. Now that you know how to get your way around Vectorworks, you're ready to start with your first lighting plot. And um, in order to show you that, I have created a whole fresh new uh, drawing. I've set it to um, an architectural size D drawing in my uh, page setup, uh, and we're ready to go. Now, I haven't put in any layers yet, and your design drawing or your lighting plot drawing for um, uh, for uh, the class will require um, four different pieces. You're going to need to have the theater itself, the, um, the set or the stage space, the focus points at which you focus lights, the positions, and the lighting instruments. So let's go ahead and get those layers set up in your design layers. All right. So we're going to need a new design layer. And our first design layer is going to be a design layer for the theater. Um, and we're going to click OK. And I'm going to right click on my mouse in order to make sure that the active layer scale for this is in half inch scale. We could do it in quarter inch. A lot of my light plots for Waller are done in quarter inch, but today we're going to do this in half inch. Okay, click OK. And then we're going to move on to the, um, the set layer. Now you have probably imagined an imaginary space for fires in the mirror, but uh, in this case, um, we're not going to put anything in quite yet, but we do have a set layer. Click OK. And if you want to check in to make sure your active layer scale is the right scale, you probably ought to do that. It's going to be in half inch also. All right. Now we want to come to our focus points. Uh, so we're going to create a new design layer called focus points. And click OK. Right click to active layer scale, make sure that's in half inch scale also, click OK. Now we're going to want our lighting positions. New design layer, positions, click OK, right click to set the active layer scale at one half inch equals one foot zero inch, click OK. And finally, the lighting instruments themselves. So a new design layer, instruments, I like all caps, click OK, right click, make sure my active layer scale is at half inch, click OK. Now, um, what we want to do next is start creating the theater itself. I'm going to need a center line and a plaster line. Center line is going to be right here in the middle of the stage, right? I'm going to click, drag, click. Uh, I'm going to pull down the bottom of this. I'm going to change the color of that to uh, green in classic vector works colors. It almost disappears on a plot, but I can uh, on a printed plot, but it shows up really well in uh, in my um, screen. And then I'm going to change the line type here. I'm going to change it to a long dash, short dashed line. Um, oh, I'm just going to call it a dashed line for now. We'll come back to that. You know, we could find it in the resource manager. Here we go. In the resource manager. Um, no, we're going to do that later. All right. And then I'm going to want to get another line. I'm going to make it about, oh, two-thirds to three-quarters of the way down the page. Click from left to right. Click again. Turn that green. Make it a dashed line with my line attribute tool. And there we have it. I've got a sense of space, um, and I've got these in the wrong layer. I left myself in my design layer. So here's a good reminder to X back to the select tool. 
as a shortcut, the keyboard X. And then uh, I'm, I can select both of these and make sure that I'm putting them in the um, theater layer. And that's a quick way to solve a problem when you are drafting in the wrong layer. You've done a bunch of work and you say, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, so now I'm going to put in a proscenium, uh, proscenium arch. So I'm going to click on uh, a line just to uh, set myself up. This is going to be a construction line. I'm going to get rid of it in a moment. I'm going to click at center point or the origin. I'm going to move myself. Oh, let's say that this is a 40-foot proscenium opening. That's not unusual. Um, so I'm going to click. 20 feet, enter, and then enter again. And the end of that line is where I'm going to place my proscenium arch. And I'm going to make it, uh, no, let's say that's uh, six feet tab minus one foot, return, return. And that's taking up the space of my proscenium arch. I'll have some other architecture beyond that, and I just want to mark its place on the stage. And I'm going to color that with a fill that is gray so that it shows that it's cut through uh, rather than white. And then I can get rid of this line here. Just select it and delete it. Now, you'll remember the mirror tool. Kind of useful. I'm going to click the, um, uh, click the proscenium arch. Um, that I've cut through on one side of the stage. And I'm going to come over here to the mirror tool. I'm going to click it. I'm going to come back to my origin or my center line. I'm going to click, drag up, and click again. And that places a mirror image, very useful tool for making my proscenium arch. And there I've got a, an architecture that I can then, in our next lesson, put some lighting positions into. Thank you for watching.